It's no surprise that I love a cozy game. I like cozy games, I like non-cozy games, but today we are talking about cozy games and we're talking about my most anticipated games coming to PC and console. I will let you know which one's coming to which as we go through the list. I haven't done one of these list videos in a long time and I feel like I need to because there are so many cute games that are coming out, whether it be to Steam, whether it be to PC or console, and I feel like you need to know about them if you don't. So we're going to talk about them today. But anyway, let's get straight into today's list. Our first game that we want to talk about is Critikov. Critikov is an open world sim and a town building game set in a cozy post-apocalyptic paradise. You will be restoring the old town, sailing across a mysterious archipelago, hunting relics, farming, fishing, and crafting. Everything you need to help turn the town into a thriving tourist town once again. You'll be spending your doubloons to upgrade buildings and explore the world to discover new blueprints and gather resources to grow your town. The more you upgrade, the more you will improve the tourist rating. The greater the rating, the more tourists will visit, and more tourists means more money for more town upgrades. You can venture out into the mysterious tropical archipelago, which is filled with ruins of a long-destroyed civilization. Dive beneath the waves to salvage the treasures of the old world, rescue shipwreck critters, and unearth exotic ingredients. As you explore, you'll find resources to craft hundreds of different items, discover construction blueprints, and bring home unique plants to grow on your farm so that you can offer tourists freshly grown food. You can restore rundown buildings and open up entirely new stores and venues for tourists and townsfolk around the island. Craft decorations and interactive objects for your town and home that will improve your rating and make your island truly uniquely yours. The townsfolk in the game must be helped by assisting them in building their house and even rescuing them whilst you're out at sea. Each one has their own personality, some easygoing and friendly and some not so much. Embark on quests to find hidden treasures and ancient relics scattered through the world and donate these artifacts to the Museum of Mystery to uncover the secrets of long, long ago. You can even charge tourists a small fee to enter the museum, which I find highly amusing. This game definitely gives me those Animal Crossing vibes I've been craving from a new game and so, so much more. So go check out Crater Cove on their socials because they post pretty regularly showing progress of the game. They also currently have a demo for you to check out on Steam. I honestly can't wait for Critico when it comes into early access this year and also I have read that the devs will be releasing this on console in the future after the early access on PC. The next game is called Copycat. Copycat is a narrative-driven indie game about reflection, belonging, and the true meaning of home. You play as an adorable little shelter cat named Dawn. By the way, you get to choose what the cat looks like, which... Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm definitely having a tuxedo. Dawn is a skeptical shelter cat who would much rather be in the wild than be readopted again. Dawn actually believes she's a wild cat and plans on escaping as soon as she gets the chance. But she has second thoughts when she's introduced to her new owner, Olive, a lonely old lady mourning the disappearance of her beloved furry companion. Together, Dawn and Olive will develop a beautiful friendship. But everything changes when Olive falls ill and a stray copycat steals Dawn's place in the home, forcing her onto the streets. I think this is definitely going to be one of those stories that pulls at my heartstrings, but also features a lot of mystery. I'm very intrigued how the story plays out and how does this copycat move in? What happens to us as the cat? What happens to the lady? I have so many questions I need answers to, so I can't wait to pick up this game. The game is also fully voice acted, so I love that. There's nothing wrong with having no voice acting. I just feel myself become more connected to a story if there's voice acting in it. And it can also become a bit more of a relaxing experience at times. Anyway, Copycat is coming this September to Steam and it's also coming to consoles and Mac. So I'm incredibly excited. As someone who loves cats, I will 100% be picking this up. The next game, I recently played the demo during the Steam Next Fest and it's called Fields of Mystria. Fields of Mystria is a spiritual successor to the farm sims of the late 90s. You'll be building the farm of your dreams as you discover magic, romance and adventure in this Sailor Moon style cozy adventure. Customize your character, home and farm to suit your style. Farm, fish, mine and craft your way to a revitalized town. Find your ideal match with one of the 12 marriageable candidates who are all absolutely stunning. Raise adorable animals and breed rare color variations, including pink cows. Unlock magic that will aid you during farming and adventuring. Enjoy the ever-changing seasons with new quests, festivals, and even villager outfits. Get to know 30 plus villagers and follow all their individual stories, battle foes, and discover treasures as you explore ancient ruins, and so, so much more. This game has everything you could ever want from a farming sim. Like I said, I checked out this game a few weeks ago during Steam Next Fest, so go check out that video if you would like to see that. But this game 
has me the most excited for a farming game that I've been since Coral Island and the Stardew Valley update. Anyway, Fields of Mystery is coming to early access on Steam on the 5th of August, so you don't have to wait too long. Team have also said that they will be exploring various other ports like console in the future as development for the game continues, and they will announce more in the future when they're ready to. So don't worry, console players. Looks like they're hoping for it to come to console as well. Our next game is Tavern Keeper. This game randomly popped up on my For You page on X, formerly known as Twitter, randomly one day, and since then I've just been following along the progress, waiting for a release date. Tavern Keeper sees you starting out with a shell of a tavern in the backwaters of the kingdom. You'll be building rooms, placing items, stocking the storeroom, and hiring staff to satisfy the demands of the oddball locals that stumble through the door. Run the business well and progress to larger taverns, expanding your offering to include new meals, drinks, rooms and services. The thing that makes this business management game stand out the most to me is that they have also added in what they called simulated details, meaning you have something really crazy happen in your tavern such as a spark from a fireplace landing on just the wrong patch of dirt and start smouldering and catching your tavern on fire and you have loads of angry locals waiting to be served but half your staff have been infected with something so they're bedridden. It honestly sounds like so chaotic. I'm up for it. I need to play it. There is both single campaign mode and design mode. So if you're not feeling very chaotic, you can just design the tavern. I'll 100% be checking out both modes when the game releases on Steam later this year. Tiny Glade is a relaxing, gridless building game where your main focus is to build and make pretty buildings and castles. There is no management, no combat in this game. All you need to do is sit back and design. This game works like no other that I have seen or played before. You literally just drag your mouse and the building changes. Add a path between walls to make doorways or archways, join different buildings together to make even bigger buildings, join windows to make different types of windows. It's honestly amazing what this game can do. You can change the height of buildings, walls, land, take cute aesthetic photos, change the color of stuff. I played the demo a few months back and just fell in love with it straight away. It feels like there will be so much replayability to this game and I know everyone's going to come up with so many different colors castles and building design ideas which makes me so excited for this release. The game is planned to release Q3 of this year on Steam. Okay this next one surprised me during Steam Next Fest. I downloaded the demo after seeing a trailer for this game and didn't really know what to expect and I gotta say I'm going to be picking this one up for sure. This is Fruit Bus. It is a cute culinary adventure set in an open world where taste is everything. You will need to upgrade your trusty truck and visit the whole world of new destinations, discovering fruits and vegetables on each island you visit of the Gustum Archipelago. You will be able to customize your truck to reflect your own personality and attract new customers with its bright colors. Forage in the wilds and gather new ingredients for your next top selling dish. Upgrade your kitchen, make fun and original dishes for customers to try, or take on challenges of trying to make the local delicacies. Your main goal for this game is to grow a following of loyal customers and discover unique stories by creating dishes that invoke feelings and memories by using the power of food to unlock new possibilities for you and your fruits. I was definitely drawn in by the art style of this game. It's so cute and unique and honestly, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting myself to be so obsessed with it. This may even be one of my favorite demos from next fest and i can't wait to pick up the game when it arrives on pc and consoles this october also the demo is still available on steam so go check it out Camper Van Making a Home is a game all about decorating and organizing your dream van. Live the dream van life and embark on a journey of personal discovery while you create the perfect space for your belongings. If you love the game unpacking, I can guarantee you're going to love this one. I played the demo during Steam's Next Fest and I was obsessed. This game is definitely very cozy. The game allows you to play at your own pace without any pressure, experimenting with a variety of items, figuring out what fits where. As you progress through the very relaxed story missions, you'll be advancing on your journey and obtaining new vans to decorate. You can even make a cozy little space outside of your van. This game does have a Kickstarter. One of the goals that was reached allowed for the addition of pets in the game, which I am so excited about. I can't even wait to start adding pet furniture to my van and as well as see the cutie walking around. I actually played the demo a couple of months ago, like I said, on the channel and I loved every 
minute of it. The demo is still actually live on Steam, so go check it out. Unfortunately, there is no release date for Camper Van Make It At Home yet. I hope we will get one soon, but this is the only one on the list that doesn't have a year, but I feel like I had to add it because I played it during Next Fest and I loved it. And the last game I would like to talk about today is The Garden Path. The Garden Path is a slice of life gardening sim that celebrates small moments. No matter how you decide to play, the garden is a tender world of familiar sights and sounds, mysteries and friendly faces. A space to call your own, curate and reflect. Designed to be played in short bursts whenever you wish, Time in the Garden Path runs concert with the outside world following a mix of real time and in-game time. This will show you all four beautiful seasons in 20 28 real days, but each game mirrors a 24 hour clock. It's definitely a very different time system to anything that I've seen before, so I'm very intrigued in how it works. This is going to be a very, very relaxing game. There are adorable characters to meet, beautiful sounds and locations to explore, all with a unique hand-drawn aesthetic. I really want to experience designing my cute garden space in the rain. I can just imagine it being so peaceful. I will 100% be playing this game. I like the fact that I'll have something to check on every day and run small little errands. I definitely miss having a game that I can do that, but also love that I can design my own space and go on little quests if I wish to. Anyway, The Garden Path comes to PC and Nintendo Switch on the 30th of July, so it's only a few days away, so you don't have to wait long. But like I said, I'll definitely be playing this one. And that concludes our look at eight of my most anticipated cozy games. Let me know which of these cozy games you're most looking forward to in the comments down below. I have so many more I want to share with everyone, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my anticipated cozy games. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and I hope you have the most loveliest of days. Goodbye!